Today we're going to look at a section in Bugs for Lunch in the back of the book called More About Bugs for Lunch. More About Bugs for Lunch. There are more insects in the world than any other kind of animal. More than 800,000 insects have been studied and named, but scientists believe that there are probably millions that nobody knows about yet. It's a good thing that insects are food for so many creatures, or the world might be overrun with them. The nuthatch is called the upside down bird because it walks headfirst down tree trunks as it searches for food. With its strong beak, it pries out insects, caterpillars, and insect eggs that are hidden in cracks in the bark. Spiders catch insects in webs and traps made of silk. Each species of spider has a distinctive design for its web or trap. When they catch more than they can eat at one time, most spiders wrap the leftovers in silk to save for a later meal. Bats fly from their roosts to look for food as the sun goes down, but even in total darkness, they can catch insects. Bats send out a constant stream of sounds that are pitched so high that people cannot hear them. As these sounds hit objects, they echo back to the bat. When an insect flies across this beam of sound, the bat can tell exactly where the bug is and can swoop down to catch it in flight. A gecko is a small lizard that lives in warm climates. Many people like to have geckos in their gardens and backyards. They know that geckos will come out of hiding at night to eat moths and other insects that people find pesky. Not everyone likes to have a mouse in the house because mice nibble on almost anything they can find. Perhaps if more people knew that mice also eat juicy beetle grubs, insect eggs, and moths, they wouldn't mind having a few mice around. A shrew is one of the smallest mammals in the world, and probably one of the busiest. Between short naps, shrews are always on the run, searching for insects. They use so much energy that they cannot go more than a few hours without eating. Every day they eat enough insects to equal two or three times their own weight. If you find a toad in your garden, don't chase it away. It's a champion insect eater. A toad's long, sticky tongue is fastened to the front edge of its lower jaw. When a toad sees a bug, it shoots out its tongue, zaps the insect, and has eaten it before you can blink an eye. A praying mantis can sit as still as a twig on a tree for hours. When a juicy bug lands nearby, the mantis lashes out and grabs the insect with its spiny front legs. Mantises are welcome in gardens because they eat so many destructive insects. The praying mantis got its name because when it holds its front legs together in front of its face, it looks like it's praying. When a trout spots an insect cruising above a brook, it will leap from the cold, clear water and catch the insect in flight. Fishermen often bait their hooks with artificial flies they have made to look like the mayflies and other insects they know trout like to eat. Bears aren't fussy eaters. They like all kinds of food. Fish, berries, mice, insects, and insect grubs. But they really love honey. When a bear climbs a tree and tears into a beehive with its long claws, bees swarm out. But the bear doesn't seem to mind. Its thick fur protects it from bee stings while it munches juicy bees mixed with a yummy honey. Aardvarks, or earth pigs, live in deep burrows in Africa. They come out of their tunnels at night when warthogs and their other enemies are sleeping. After an aardvark digs open a huge termite hill or ant nest, it slurps up the swarming insects with its long, sticky tongue.
The Venus flytrap is a carnivorous or a meat-eating plant. Its hinged leaves are edged with spiny teeth. The slight pressure of an insect landing on a few sensitive hairs on the leaf triggers the leaf to snap shut. In a few days, after the trapped insect has been digested, the leaf opens, ready for another meal to land. You might eat insects too, especially if you live in a country where meat is scarce. In Cambodia, a fat, roasted tarantula is a treat. People who live in Central Australia gather moth caterpillars called witchetty grubs to roast in the ashes and hot sand around a campfire. And in Indonesia, children use flexible reeds covered with sticky sap to catch dragonflies for a delicious stir-fry served on rice. And this is a map of Australia showing you where Central Australia is, right in the middle. And this is what witchetty grubs look like. Here is a map of the world showing where Indonesia is in red. And here is a picture of sticky rice with dragonflies on top. Well, there you have it. More about bugs for lunch. Wow, there are a lot of animals and even people that eat bugs for lunch.